Rick Walder, 20 Elm Street. Uh, I've been a village resident, I think, probably as long or longer than anybody here. I personally hate to see the sewer plant go, and unless you can show me, it's going to save me money. If it's going to turn out that I can stay cheaper <clears throat> with the village sewer plant, that's the way I want to go, definitely. We go and look at the long run solution, not going to save me money next year, but going to save me money over, well, for me, probably no more than about 15 years. I'm hoping for at least that many more, being a long time resident. Uh, so I agree with the point. I haven't seen, maybe there's been a lot of discussions between the town and the village, but nobody's heard about them. And I think the public should know more about what's going on. You've apparently been to the town and heard their side of the story, but their side of the story isn't coming back here that we know about. So I'd like to, like I say, see the sewer plant stay if it's shown that it can save us money in the long run. Uh, I know not all the figures are there and there's a lot of question about Xerox. My experience with companies going out of business, we look at Kodak, they're downsized tremendously, but I know no buildings at Kodak that are not occupied and used in producing sewage of some type or another. Maybe what they, not what they produced before, but maybe more or less. Xerox, once the buildings are empty a while, my experience at Boyer's Co-op, is that nobody wants to buy the building when it first goes empty. They want the company that owns it to suffer for a year, a year and a half, because that drives the price down because it costs a lot of money to maintain an empty building. Almost as much as it costs to maintain a full building. So once Xerox has buildings set empty for a year or two, you're going to see a lot of people looking at those buildings because the cost of occupying will come down tremendously. So that is, answers the Xerox question. There is currently, if you've got the paper today, you see the thing that was presented to the village board last meeting by the visit, by our economic development. Yeah, the economic development committee that is looking into grants and that, that will bring Xerox back in some form, not as Xerox, but as a development area and put a use to most of the buildings, any that can be redeveloped. So I don't think we have to worry too much. I don't think Xerox would set empty for very long. A year, maybe two at the most, and those buildings will be occupied. There's a lot of businesses, smaller businesses in the Rochester area that are looking for property constantly, but they have to wait till the price is right. I thank you very much. <laughs>